Yo, what is good NFL fans? Welcome back to Touchdown Kingdom. In this video, I will be bringing you guys my week 17 NFL score predictions. We are in the final stretches of the regular season and we have a lot of games coming up this week that has big time playoff implications. Hope you guys all had a happy holidays and enjoy this weekend with your family and friends and I'm super excited to break down what's coming this week in the NFL. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course like the video if you guys enjoy and more importantly, comment down below your thoughts of this week in the NFL and which games you're looking forward to the most. With that being said, let's dive right into my score predictions. This video is powered by BetUS. If you have not tried them out already, they are offering you $50 when you sign up and you don't even have to make a deposit. They are also offering you 125% bonus up to $2,500 when you sign up. The link is in the description below this video. Go check it out, you have nothing to lose. Just like in last week's video, we're going to look at BetUS and go into the spreads and I'm going to be predicting which team covers each spread. So with that being said, let's dive right in. The Dallas Cowboys take on the Tennessee Titans on Thursday Night Football. The Cowboys are coming off putting up 40 points and beating the Eagles to improve to 11-4 on the season. While the Titans continue to freefall and have lost 5 in a row and just lost to the Houston Texans. The Titans are no longer in first place as the Jaguars hold a tiebreaker over them. I have the Cowboys taking care of business with an easy win on the road with a final score of 28-17. The Carolina Panthers take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a huge NFC South matchup. The Buccaneers have a one-game lead over the Panthers for first place, but the Carolina Panthers beat the Bucs in their first matchup. The, a Panthers win would put them in first place in the division. The Panthers are coming off a dominant game running the football versus the Lions and got a huge victory with Sam Darnold leading the way. I actually have the Panthers pulling off this win on the road with the final score of 24-17. The Cleveland Browns head to Washington to take on the Commanders who are fighting for that last NFC wildcard spot. The Browns are coming off a loss to the Saints in a freezing cold day in Cleveland, while the Commanders got blown out by the red hot 49ers. I think the Commanders will be able to stay in that last wildcard spot with the victory with the final score of 23-20. to The New Orleans Saints take on the Philadelphia Eagles who are unable to get the job done with Jalen Hurts out. Garner Minshew still played well as the team put up 34 total points versus Dallas, so I do believe Minshew will be able to get this win at home for the Eagles to secure that first seed in the NFC. I got the Eagles winning 24-10. The Arizona Cardinals take on the Atlanta Falcons. There are no playoff implication in this one as they are both pretty much out of it. I got the Falcons winning and covering the spread in this game 17-10. The Jacksonville Jaguars take on the Houston Texans. The Jaguars are now in first place and they must win this game if they want a chance to secure the division for next week. The Texans are coming off a victory versus the Titans so they are a pesky young team. But Trevor Lawrence is playing like a great quarterback and I'm expecting him to have one of his best games of the season. I got the Jags winning 30-14. to The Chicago Bears head to Detroit to take on the Lions. The Bears are coming off a hard-fought game against the number one seed in the AFC, the Buffalo Bills, while the Lions got dominated in the trenches versus the Panthers. The Lions are playing for that last wildcard spot, while the Bears do not really have anything to play for other than spoiling the Lions' chances for the postseason. I like this to be a competitive battle with the Lions coming away with the victory with the final score of 24-20. to The Miami Dolphins take on the New England Patriots. Both teams coming off losses. The Dolphins have now lost four in a row and might be without Tua Tagovailoa as he entered concussion protocol once again. The Patriots almost came back to beat the Bengals but they fell short. Teddy Bridgewater will get the start and I actually think he will do enough to get the win for the Miami Dolphins to snap their four game losing streak. I got the Finns winning 22-17. to The Denver Broncos head on the road to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Nathaniel Hackett has been fired in his first season in Denver as the Broncos organization seems to be a bit messy right now. Well, now they have to go to Kansas City, who are fighting for that number one seed in the AFC. I like the Chiefs winning this game 28-20. to 
The Indianapolis Colts head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. The Giants are coming off a heartbreaking loss in the last seconds to Minnesota, but the Giants still control their own destiny for the playoffs. I think they're going to take care of business at home and win this game against the Colts with a final score of 24-17. to The New York Jets head to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Mike White has returned, and the Jets still have a chance to make the playoffs even though they have lost four in a row. They must win their final two games, and the Patriots would have to lose at least one of their last two. The Seahawks are in a similar situation where they must win their final two games in order to have a chance for the postseason. I think the Jets team with Mike White is a different animal, and I got the Jets winning this game on the road with a final score of 27-20. to The San Francisco 49ers head to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. The 49ers have won 8 in a row and are undefeated with Brock Purdy. They are rolling their way into the postseason, while the Raiders, they lost any hope for their playoffs after their loss last week. I see the 49ers continuing their dominance with a win in this game, 31-14. The Minnesota Vikings head on the road to take on the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay has now won 3 in a row and they must continue their winning streak to have a chance for the postseason. The Vikings are coming off yet another thrilling victory at home. I think the Packers have something more to play for in this game and they're going to get the W at home in Lambeau Field. I got the Packers winning 23-20. to The Los Angeles Bowl, the Rams take on the Chargers. The Chargers have officially clinched the playoffs and this will be Justin Herbert's first postseason appearance in his NFL career. I think they will cruise by the Rams, even though the Rams absolutely blew out the Broncos on Christmas Day. I got the Chargers winning this game 27-10. The Pittsburgh Steelers head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens on Sunday Night Football. The Ravens have clinched the wildcard spot, but they must win this game to still be in the race for the division. Lamar Jackson's status is still up in the air as he needs to get back on the field in order to get ready for the playoffs. Pittsburgh is actually on a two-game winning streak and are playing meaningful games in December after starting off the season so poorly. I'd like the Ravens to get this job done at home with the final score of 27-20. to The Buffalo Bills take on the Cincinnati Bengals on Monday Night Football. This is the best game of the week in my opinion. The Bengals have won seven games in a row, while the Bills are playing for that number one seed in the AFC to secure their bye week. I like the Bengals to defend home field and beat the Bills in a thriller on Monday Night Football. Final score, 30-27. to That does it for Touchdown Kingdom's NFL Week 17 score predictions. If you guys want to comment down below some of your score predictions, please feel free to do so. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoy the content. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and let's enjoy Week 17 in the NFL. Peace out everybody.